Hey dudes and chicks and neither if those rules don't apply to you, welcome to Make For Last Time. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to be going against my own moral fiber and ranking my green palettes for you guys. And so I don't really like ranking palettes because they have individual personalities and it's difficult to rank big, bigger palettes with smaller palettes that have small curations but big personalities and then bigger palettes that have good curations and good formulas and it's just really hard for me to rank a personality and I believe that each of my palettes has a personality and it was created by a personality by somebody that I care about them even if I if I don't like their palettes or if their palettes aren't performing well it's not even easy for me to say that but I can say that but when I generally like all the palettes it's difficult for me to rank one from the other because they're each a person and like you can't rank personalities. Well, having said all that, I I basically put different criteria on each thing and I ranked it based on different things. There's no one stipulation that made one go from, from bottom to top and I generally like most of these palettes. So if you're interested in seeing how I rank my green palettes, then just keep watching. I wanted to start by saying that there was, I have a lot of palettes. I feel like there's a lot of palettes that people consider a green palette, but when you actually look at those palettes, th not even half the colors are green. Like the Gemini palette, for example, it's like, it has like three greens and, and it's mostly orange and a black. And so it's not even half green. It's actually less than half green, but it's considered a green palette. All the palettes that I have included in here, except one, have a name that implies that it's a green palette. So when the person created it, they actually named it after something green so that you would associate it as a green palette. Except one, but one is general. basically every single color in it is green. And the other one has a name that is borderline, but it had a deciding factor. So I'll get to that when I get to that palette. I have nine green palettes and the Gemini palette isn't one of them. Number nine is my Tasty Avocado palette by I Heart Revolution. The fucking packaging is a 10. It's the best. I love this package 1000%. And the color story is pretty fucking great too. It's a good color story. The shadows don't perform that well. And at this point, they, they don't, they're okay. They're, they're not very pigmented. And also the shimmers are really not that shimmery. They're Honestly, they're more like satins. Every single one of them is a satin, which is fine, except there's really no like real like good shimmers to speak of, like in terms of like when I compare it to all my other palettes. Honestly, I would declutter this palette if it wasn't for the packaging. I keep this palette for the packaging. I can't seem to let this fucking cute ass avocado go. I'm not into the food theme, but I love avocados. Who doesn't, right? That's the reason why I keep this palette. It's the only reason why it's still here and also because I wanted to film this video. I almost decluttered it last time, but it's so cute and I wanted to keep it for this video that took me like six months to actually film. So, okay, number eight is the Kaleido Sci-Fi Green Palette. This palette is fucking boring to me. It's clearly a Gemini knockoff. It's like, I don't know if they did that on purpose or what. The shimmers are great. I've literally used this palette maybe one time and I've had it longer than most of my palettes. It's just, if I want if I want this color story, I'm going for my Gemini palette every time, like period. The Gemini is a great fucking palette. And so the only reason why I included, this was the questionable call. Like if I'm not gonna include the Gemini, why should I include the Sci-Fi Green? Well, because it's named Sci-Fi Green. That's the only reason why I kept this one in here. My next palette is the Bare Beauty Volume One. The color story looks like this. This is a fantastic color story. And from what I know of the formula, the formula is great. The black is fantastic. The everything blends really well. The yellow is good. It's not great. It's not the best. I mean, lately I've used some fucking yellows that literally like you gotta use some crazy shit just to tone them down. You gotta tone down the yellows in the palettes I've been using lately. And so the yellow is good and it's good enough to blend out these greens. I like it that this palette has a yellow to blend out greens because I think yellow is a major factor in how good a green look looks. 
The only reason why this palette ranked so low is because I don't really like the color, the actual shade of the shimmers that are in here. They're not like a highly shiny, foily shimmer, which is fine. I don't mind that. But the these three colors are all pressed glitters, and I like pressed glitters okay, but for this particular palette, I actually wish that these would have been a shimmer, at least two of them, because all the best shimmers in here are glitters and so glitters are like occasional they're not like all the time for me like i like glitter i love glitter the other thing was that the glitter formula was really just okay it wasn't like a very great glitter formula and so like in in the beauty community that we're in everybody hates press glitters and so if you're gonna fucking try to promote a press glitter it better be a fucking good press glitter you know what i mean so that's the reason why this palette ranks so low the the truth of it is that the actual shades of these greens are like my preference they're like the more blue tone greens and they're a lot of teals and even like the green greens have a lot of blue base to them they're cool tone greens that's it the glitter there's so much fucking fallout it looks like a fucking dragon just shit on your fucking face so it's like i you know i it was all over the place and like it was just really hard to manage that glitter and so for all of those reasons that palette i love the color story but it ranked low because of those reasons the next green palette the emeralds palette it's a $5 palette for one. So honestly, fuck, it rates high in my book because the, the performance of this palette is great. The only reason why I ranked it so low is because for one, the, the, the formula is awesome, but it's not quite as dimensional as I would like it to be. Uh, the pictures that I took when I posted them on Instagram, like I love this look. When I filmed this video, I loved it. But when I posted it on Instagram, it really did lack definition. And so that was one of the things that I noticed about this palette is the pigment. I don't know what it was about the look that I did. It just didn't wasn't that dimensional. And the shimmers are really good. Um, they're not the best shimmer formula I've ever used, but this fucking palette took me by surprise and it's a $5 palette and the performance is good. If you are limited in your funds or if your green palette collection is small, get this. If your green palette collection is big, get this. The color story is fucking awesome. I love... This is an avocado palette, right? It's got this avocado seed color and then you've got like these golds right here and the gold, you can put the golds with these greens. This is a fantastic palette. It just rated a little bit lower because it had, it lacks a little tiny bit of dimension. This color right here, which would be your dimensional shade. Oh, sorry. This would be your most dimension that you would get is actually a lot brighter and lighter than it appears in comparison to everything else in the palette. So that's the only reason why I ranked it low. Err. My next palette is the Moon Size Beauty palette. I love this color story. This color story is actually like a happy grass troll color story. I said that when I did three looks with it and this is honestly one of the few. I feel like in, in the scheme of my entire collection, I don't have like the ratio of palettes that I've actually done three looks with, this is one of them. The fucking mattes perform great. The color story is great. And honestly, the shimmers are bomb. Look at this one right here. Now, even though this isn't like my favorite shade as we've talked, that emerald like forest green shimmer, the shimmers are super surprising. And I remember thinking as I was using this that when you look at the shimmers in the in the palette, they don't look like they're anything to scream about. But when you get them on your eyes, they're very impactful and not exactly foiled, but definitely like very shiny. I just love the color story. And also I like it that there's these two colors and the yellow. The yellow has sparkle in it, but I don't even notice that shit. That just goes in one eye and out the fucking back of my head so that you can get a little bit of a variety you can go happy you can go grungy you, you and then you have this red so I just feel like this is a very well variety palette and the only reason why it's where it is is because these ones are higher I, I I'm backpedaling I'm like uh, this fucking feels yucky to me the next palette in my list which is number four is the give me glow juicy olive palette I actually did this look today to remember if this palette was actually good <laughs> I couldn't remember if I thought it was good or if I actually just thought it was good because somebody said it was good on YouTube and then I tried it and then I didn't think it was good, but I thought it was just me, right? So whenever anything goes wrong, I just assume that it's my me, my skill, my taste, me. This is what the color story looks like. I fucking love this color right here. It's dry martini. It's this bright pea green. 
I feel like there's grungy greens and then there's pea greens. There's like olive drab, right? Like this is olive, this is olive, and this is pea, pea green. Not like urine, like the, like a fresh pea, you know what I mean? The reason why this ranked high is because it's super blendable, but the reason why I ranked it the highest is because it's actually, it's not the highest, but it's actually a green palette. I felt like the actual all green palettes needed to go higher up, plus the shimmer formula is like bomb. And this color is fucking bomb. And then this one, it's the one I'm wearing as my inner corner. Look at how fucking pretty that is. It ranked high because the formula, the shimmer formula is super foiled, it's super blendable, it's super pigmented, and it's actually an all green palette. The next one is the Pistachio palette from BH Cosmetics. It's part of the Sweet Shop collection. I mean, this is not news to anybody. The color story looks like this, and the shimmers are seriously like next level shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck they put drugs in them. That's it. Like, the matte formula is good but the shimmer formula is like next level. It, these are all like duochrome-y. There's just no, no getting around it. The other thing is, is I do feel like as far as the shimmers go in this particular palette, the darkest one is really the best one out of all of them. The darkest one and the gold one, the pinky and the first finger. But I also feel like that Moon Slice Beauty Emerald Moon palette is like that shimmer that I just showed you is not a dupe for it, but it's really actually similar in color. I feel like the two center shades are okay, but I feel like the other the other Sweet Shop palettes kind of really, uh, the, the shimmers, I just prefer them more. And so that did make it into the top because of the shimmer formula and just because the palette is so good and it's like semi affordable, which is like a semi boner, right? It kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. So the next one is my Lucky Bunny Envy palette. So like, I mean, I know I was splitting hairs, but like green with Envy, you know what I mean? It's a green palette, so it was not not getting in here, but still. The color story looks like this and the reason why this made it in my top the color, the matte formula is amazing. It's super fucking blendable. But the other thing, and the and the shimmer formula is that same, like, it's more like a sheen instead of a shine. But the thing about it is, is the color story. Like, it has these, like, strange gray colors and this purple that make it more just, like, a palette after my own heart, right? This palette, like, speaks to my murky swamp bitch, right? We've already had this talk, so I'm not gonna go on and on about it, but it was really mostly the personality the performance is good. If the performance sucked, it wouldn't be in my top palettes, but it wouldn't have been in my top palettes of 2020 either. If, if, if the performance sucked on any of these, right? I guess the I Heart Revolution is the only palette in here that the performance, I would say, sucks. The top palette is the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette. And honestly, I feel like for a lot of reasons, this palette has no fucking business being on the top of my green palettes. The, it, it looks like this. The color story looks like this. The reason why I decided to include this is because I felt like feet on the ground implied green and then it actually has a fucking color called Mama's Garden and a color called Grass. And so when I was thinking, like, should I put it in? Because if I, sh if I put this one in, why the fuck didn't I put the Gemini palette in? You know what I mean? It was really difficult for me. I have blue-green palettes that... If I was going to put the Gemini palette in here, I should have put the fucking Oceanic palette and the fucking Affinity 2 palette, right? Like, I have blue-green palettes. Fuck, for that matter, why not the Feral palette? Like, I literally was, like, having a hard time putting the Gemini palette in here when I wasn't going to put the Affinity 2, which is actually half green. And the Gemini isn't half green. The Affinity 2 is half green. And so why I put this in here because it's named, it, it's named Feet on the Ground and it has two colors in it, probably even more. I mean, Chemtrail, Greener, like there's a lot of names in here that are named after something green. And so like the point of this palette was to be kind of green and earth tones. And so I included it. And the only reason why it's on the top is because for one, it's huge, which is total bullshit that I would, that this one would get ranked higher because it's so much bigger, but I do have so many more options. And also the shimmer formula is like eye-gasmic. Like it fucking literally like 
you will literally slide off your fucking chair as you're fucking putting these shimmers on. And so, dude, I, I mean, it had to go on the top. The fucking matte formula is bomb. Everything about this palette is, like, bomb as fuck. And so, it's not fair. It's not fair for me to compare this huge fucking palette from this bougie brand to all these fucking smaller fucking company brands that are, like, have, like, such a personality and such a cool curated story and, like, have, like, so, so much of a theme and, like, all this thought, you you know what I mean? So it's like, it's hard. It's hard for me to put that in the same category as that. But honestly, like, if you want to know what, you know, if I had to like get rid of five of these palettes, I mean, I feel like I could, I could easily get rid of the bottom four. If I only could keep five of these palettes, it would definitely not, it would not be these. If I had to get rid of, if I could only keep five of my green palettes, it wouldn't be these ones. So that's, I guess, I didn't really think of it that way. Like, ultimately, when it comes down to it, what are the palettes that I would be sad to fucking lose? And I would be sad as fuck to lose all five of these. So these are my top five regardless. And I feel like it's difficult for me to categorize these and, like, rank them because it's not fair because this palette is so big. And it's actually not green. It's, like, half green, maybe. It's actually 10 colors in it are green and it's a 25 color palette. So it's not fair. It's not fair to put that palette in a, in the greens. If I was going to put that palette in the greens, I should have put the Gemini, but then what the fuck would I have done? So anyways, that's how I rank my green palettes. That's it. That's all I have. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because you can't wait to see what happens next. Hit the like button if you like this video and you want to hear more content like this. If there's other fucking colors or color stories that you want me to rank, even though it's painful for me and I actually need to go call my therapist now because I fucking am filled with guilt and shame, I would do that for you guys because I'm a giver and hang out with me in the comments because I fucking love it also for those of you who thought I looked pretty before I opened my mouth go and follow me on Instagram because I don't talk as much on Instagram thank you guys so much for watching you could have been anywhere but you were here spending your precious valuable time with me and I totally love you guys for it later